Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video we're going to be talking about tension when playing the piano. We're going to talk about what causes tension, how to avoid tension and most importantly if you have tension how to fix it. Getting tension in your hands when playing the piano is actually a very common thing and it affects a lot of pianists of all standards. It can be caused by a combination of things, for example if you are practicing too much compared to normal and your hands are just finding it harder to move, this can lead to tension when you're practicing. Also, if you suffer from any pre-existing conditions such as arthritis or something like that, then that can also lead to tension just from trying to force your hand to move in a certain way. However, if you are getting tension from the piano, then the likelihood is even if you do have a pre-existing condition or you've been playing much more than normal, then this will be due to how you're playing when you actually sit at the piano. If you are feeling any pain from playing the piano or tension caused by playing the piano, this is a disclaimer and I would suggest that you go and see a medical professional to get advice on your particular situation. If tension isn't fixed, that can cause long-term problems such as carpal tunnel or some other conditions. So all these things aside, let's drill into what might be causing tension within your practice and your piano playing. Well, the number one cause of tension in anyone's playing is just trying to force your hands to do something that they just don't want to do yet. You have to remember when playing the piano that you are trying to train your fingers to do something that is actually relatively unnatural. Your fingers can move and they can do what you want them to do, but it does take time to train that into your hand and you have to do this gradually with relaxed practice in order to avoid tension. The reason that tension normally occurs is just down to frustration or bad habits and that is that if you are learning something new on the piano and you can't do it you're trying to force your hand to do it and each time you get it wrong you get tenser and tenser and more frustrated because you just want your hand to do it. This might not be you exactly. It doesn't mean that all of your practices are like this. It can be just certain parts or certain difficult things. You have to remember that you're not only training your hands but you're training your head as well. You're trying to get something to become second nature in your hands but you're also trying to get a methodology of practice to become second nature in your head and when you're first starting out at the piano or even if now this has become the way that you naturally practice you have to change the habit of how you practice in order to avoid the tension so here is how I would suggest trying to avoid tension if you are someone that is suffering from tension from this moment on you need to be very careful about how you're practicing I would suggest scaling down exactly how much of something that you are trying to learn and play everything 10 times slower than you previously would have done. You need to forget about the end goal of learning a piece or a song or about making scales and sight reading all perfect, that's not the point. Trying to get to that goal faster is most likely what caused the tension in the first place. So you should still continue practicing the same things but your only aim when practicing is to concentrate on your wrist, your fingers and making sure that you are playing slowly and without tension. The best way to do this is to use movement in your wrist. For example, if you just practice a scale on the piano, you can focus on moving your wrist upwards as you move up the scale and moving it back down as you come back down very, very slowly. This kind of slow moving practice will start retraining your brain so that it becomes second nature to play without any tension. But you do have to remember that this has to be the way that you now play. So if you find that you're doing this as an exercise and then going straight back to how you were practicing before, then that won't help the problem. You have to be thinking about releasing that tension with every single key that you press until you don't have to think about it anymore. Once you've got rid of tension in your fingers, or if you are just worried about causing tension, then all you have to do to avoid it is to make sure that you aren't trying to run before you walk. Be very conscious about how you're practicing and what you're actually trying to achieve with your practice. And you need to remember that playing piano is a long-term endeavor and it's not gonna happen overnight, so you don't need to rush any kind of practice. Especially very early on in your piano learning, if you can get used to playing without tension and really focus on the techniques then this is actually going to make you a more accomplished pianist earlier on. It's about being thorough with your learning and practice rather than trying to just get through it as fast as you can because not only will this cause tension in your hands from the physical movements of playing but you will also be hindering your understanding from the piece and things that you could be picking up that you wouldn't pick up if you're trying to go at 20 miles an hour. As I mentioned earlier in this video if you are having any tension problems where it's causing pain then I would advise you go and see a medical professional and if you have had any tension problems or have any advice about tension then leave that in the comments and if you found this video useful then hit me with a big like and subscribe and I will see you next time